before we get into this video please make sure to like and subscribe thank you very much well we've been preparing extremely hard to try to get ready for this there are so many different problems that they can cause us uh, obviously with the strength of their team and the way they play so it's really just been days of trying to break down video and um, discuss things as a staff to figure out how we can uh, exploit some things that we do well and at the same time contain them with some of the things that they do well so it's been a lot of sleepless nights and i'm sorry not because we get out of the tournaments i'm sure that the players will also get to know what's the mood in camp like are they very calm i handle this big game well i don't right now i don't sense a lot of difference between this match and any of the other three matches we play i'm sure they have you know same anxieties and because every game gets bigger and bigger, and that's the way it was in the group after we got the result uh, the first day against Canada. Then Australia became a bigger match because we needed something out of that match, and, and then they continued with Ireland needing to get out of the group. So I think it just builds. The deeper you go in this competition, the more um, anxiety is, is normal. But the players have seemed to handle that real well so far, uh, so I haven't noticed anything that makes me concerned, I guess. We are at the Perry Park training pitch, rounding off ahead of our next game against England tomorrow. How do you feel as the leader of the team? I feel ginger. I feel strong. I feel ready. Um, we prepare for this all. Oh yes, not even now. So this is just like the World Cup just started for us. Uh, whatever team we won, whatever team. That one has passed. This is the beginning of the real World Cup, and we're ready to go. The team is ginger. The team is positive. So you've made your sixth appearance in the World Cup. When you came in as a substitute, how did you feel as an African? Uh, I feel blessed. I feel fulfilled. I feel that all my hard work finally, I would say, you know, come to existence to the world to see, like. It means everything to me. Mostly when I entered, I, I feel the joy in my heart that yes, I made it to the sixth World Cup and I played with the team. Yeah, so, so, so finally, uh, what's the message you have for Nigerians back at home? Yeah, they should keep playing for us. Uh, we are here already. We are no, no going back. No, no draw. No, it's all winning. Uh, nothing but winning. And we are showing Nigerians that we go out there tomorrow, put in our best everything we've got nothing behind to make sure we carry the day against england i know so many of them are saying oh having doubts but i'm assuring that they should not have doubt the team is in very good spirit and we're ready to go thank you uh as it is now uh you're one of the i think the most favorite player you know back home in nigeria everybody wants to see you play they love your style of play and the passion you put into the game uh this getting to you as an individual how do you feel uh i mean i guess it's pretty cool i feel like uh, i don't really notice you know i'm here uh just for the world cup and i mean i think everything is is coming back to just me being Nigerian, I just have the pride of the passion of the fire, and I just bring that to everything I do on and off the field. Um, and the team just really brings it out, um, the, t the type of player I am off on the field. Yeah, we've prior to this World Cup, our group was like the group of death. Did you ever expect that we're going to scale through? Yeah, I mean, I always have uh, faith with us. Um, I think that we've already played um, some top teams before we came to the World Cup, and we got a few results. Um, and and I think that only grew as we came into the group stage. So although we had the quote-unquote group of death, um, I don't think it really faced us, and we were just really focused on each game as it came. So as we're going to play England, European champions, what are your expectations? Uh, it's going to be a hard game. We've had um, hard games this whole entire time, starting with Canada. And so we expect nothing less. It's obviously a knockout round, so it really is winner takes all. So um, we're ready to put up a battle. Um, we're ready to expect a battle from them um, and, and just give them everything that we have. Finally, our fans back home, they want to know the inspiration behind the different kinds of uh, shades of boots you wear. Yeah, I, I got my inspiration from Mario Balotelli. He's my favorite player. Um, I watched him a lot when I was growing up, and he did it in, in the 2014 World Cup with Puma. So I just did it. Thank you.